All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments Part 20. 2-0. That's pretty far. That's pretty far. All right, we were in the middle of this war light right here. I ended up handing off this territory to Chieftain Bet Petabost. Um, he's got really high learning. He's in good health, so he'll be around for a while. We can try to get him married off, possibly, but... Um, I wanted to, of course, say thank you to those that uh, left the comment. Uh, Lore Master, as always, I can't believe I didn't have this pulled up already. I do almost every day. There we go. Meow, Ricky Williams, Abhinav Magaluri, uh, you are so you. Thank you so much for your comments. So, uh, I did want to say Abhinav uh, left a comment saying, You keep forgetting that Menkari is a genius. He'll maximize all that he can. Um, and then talked about things that I'm not doing very well. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Mankare is a genius. I am not a genius. So, absolutely feel free to roast me in the comments and give me tips. But, yes, I should have been marrying my courtiers to people that are good at their skills. That would make my courtiers better. You're correct. <laughs> okay. And then, alright. And then a lot of good points from everybody else again as always uh some people are really glad we're doing world conquest after all like i said we'll probably be doing a slower world conquest than i used to do and just do the big wars but let's go ahead and move forward i did figure out how to move the t the route during a grand tour we can't really visit anybody right now because the war has everyone away from their homes but um definitely gonna try to get a grand tour going very soon if i can oh first we got to go win this war over here, the Chieftain of Dara. Uh, because apparently these guys have decided that they just, they can't let us have things, right? And then after that's done, these guys should are off a truce in half a year. <clears throat> and then two and a half years after that, we'll be able to hit the Tullinids for real. Which would be awesome. Tribal favoritism. High Chieftain Mashkud has been silently seething all evening, but finally bursts as I reach for the fine cheeses. I simply cannot understand why you granted the Chieftain of Sharka to Chieftain Budapest Pedabost. These lands by rights belong to me. How? In what what in what manner? Because it's a duchy near yours? My man, I'm already giving you two duchies. Mashkud, I can't do more. He does not have qualities you lack. He's insulted 93%. Okay. Sorry, this isn't your decision to make. I, Mashkud, I'm super proud of you, and you are a great general, and I'm so glad you're a part of this empire. But if you think for a second you're making better choices than Menkare, I'm telling you right now, Menkare does not think you're making better choices than Menkare. I can guarantee you that right now. Alright, um, Queen Yol, obviously, uh, doesn't get much support from us. Suleiman already has a spouse. Mashkud already has a spouse. Yehudit does need a spouse that, pr that improves her intrigue. For sure, for sure. Let's get, let's find her a spouse. Intrigue, specialty, Tofina is 50. Greedy, arbitrary, and ambitious. I mean, they're going to have some messed up traits, obviously, just because they're good at intrigue. Tofina. Nubian. <clears throat> Maybe if we got him involved. Matrilineal marriage, for sure. Let Yehudit take over in the marriage here. How long does she have? She's in poor health. It's because she's ill, though. Get rid of ill, and she if she can get past her illness, she'll probably do pretty good. And he would definitely boost her intrigue quite a bit. So let's go for that. Ugh. The best ominous is Khalil. Really? I really like Khalil. Ferna is craven, gluttonous, and fickle. Okay. Not great either, but... Adama is deceitful, arrogant, and vengeful. That's a dangerous combo to have in my court. Shy, stubborn, and sadistic. Now this is one I can work with. And he's probably going to be dead about the same time she is, to be fair. Yeah, let's do that one. There you go, you hit it. I'm going to find you a spouse right there to get your intrigue up. And then you need a high learning spouse. Zanaga, a steward who has great learning. She's brave, cynical, and diligent. The cynical's a little weird for what she is, but okay. A godless planner. Maybe they'll clash a little bit over that, but Shadlai's 68 and she's 17 with good traits. Hmm. 
And Yoka's my guess. Greedy, fickle, and shy. Maybe that's a better match. Maybe we do that. Send that proposal through. See if we can get Shadlai's learning up. If that even works. I don't think it would actually work with Shadlai because he doesn't own space. Or Yehida. Yehida. Wait. Abinov. What are you talking about? Marry my courtiers. I don't, I don't think this is going to work. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Except your courtier, Yehidit, as my... In, in Holy Matrimony, yeah. And then Chadli married her. Yeah, that... Because they... She's a woman, so she can't own land. And he's a high shaman, so he can't own land. Or can he own land? Can he own land? He could own land. Okay. I have to consider that. If we can get our Chadli some land, he'll be better. Islan RF lost against Chieftain Christophoros in the Holy War for the Chieftain of Imtarta. Let's go! Okay. Chieftain Christophoros went and took some land for us. We didn't have to do any work on our own. Easy. Oh, my spy match is coming to me with great news. Someone's trying to kill Nezhin. Nezhin? 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 Because the Enye? Nezhin? That's a fun name. Let's stop the villain behind this. What are the success chances on it? 32-37? That's not nothing. It's not good, but it's not nothing. Man, getting this army all the way over here to go stop these guys is so extra. But they won't... They'll accept a white piece. And we won't get 28 gold? That might just be the call. Oh, no, I'm arrogant. I won't allow white pieces. Awesome. Oh, Shad Lai died. Pfft. Succumb to fatal apoplexy? Is that something to do with gout ridden? What is apoplexy? Someone tell me in the comments what apoplexy is. I have no idea. Amanok more likely to get a good, good education. Good, good. And now we have Amasis. Am who is 17, chase, cynical, and fickle. We can get him some land down the line, I'm sure. Just a little piece of land. A little touch of land. A little something something. Give her... <laughs> and Yoka, I'm getting you married again. <laughs> I'm just throwing in Yoka at men. Just like, marry that guy. Oh, he's dead. Marry that guy. <laughs> Everybody gets to marry in Yoka. Sorry. Oh, shit. That's funny. <laughs> what is happening here? Okay, there we go. Alright. A Mesis of no a 10. Let's get you set up here. I just need to get you a county. I can give you this little county right here, and that'll give you all you need. No, I don't think we're actually getting that. We're in defend. Yeah, we're defending that one. Damn. Maybe we can give him a Wasa, Alsa here. This is the competent person. Yeah, we don't want that. Nope. A grand wedding to attend. You have to leave within four months. Travel time is about three months. Held in Fazugli. Where is Fazugli? Okay, that's that's in our lands for sure. What would the travel look like? I've never been like I've never attended a grand wedding that wasn't ours. Honestly, not that dangerous, especially if we avoided this county right here. So if I go to customize route, I can go after a ten and select a location like this. And then we can do that, and then after I do this go through there and then boom we avoid the most dangerous area we still have to deal with these low county control areas which is pretty bad um okay desert warrior was still helping there because it's it's flood plains and stuff it would still be three medium danger locations huh hmm that's better but it's not great the county control is improving definitely across the board but it's, it's definitely not there yet. Improving, but it's not there. I suppose I don't have to go to their wedding. We'll be alright. No, Meow! <clears throat> Meow's not as young as she once was, and as she crawls into my lap, I can feel her trembling. I gently stroke her gray fur and listen to her purr long into the night, but as silence falls, I know that she won't wake again. I will miss you, Meow. Oh, no. If she forever by my side, let's not do that. I will miss you, Meow. Oh, man. Now we're not in excellent health. We're in good health. Oh, Meow, you were the one bumping us up there. 
High Chieftain Tamer's Hunt. I have to leave within 15 days and it's 5 months of travel. No, there's there's almost no chance I get there on time. Do I go to this grand wedding? This siege is going to take 8 months. We're stuck either way. No. I'm going to want to do other things after this. I, I appreciate the offer, my man, because I actually did really consider it. But I'm going to have to pass. Appreciate it. Let that play out. A Tem comes of age. Look at his get up here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Lore Master, about not making him part of a holy order. Is that something you can even do? I honestly, I almost left this comment. I might have, actually. I, I don't think I did, though. That I honestly didn't even know I could make him a part of a holy order. I wouldn't even know how to do that. So... I did make a mistake if he actually can do that. I just don't know how I was supposed to. Like, I don't know how that mechanic works. I'm going to have to figure that out. Proud to see my son no longer a child, but as an adult. Should be no surprise that Atem has come far in his studies of the management of the realm. Not content with understanding the flow of wealth and people, he seems capable of predicting it, predicting it as if by instinct. He always finds new ways of profiting off of it, too. They grow fast. He's Midas touched. Queen Agathe also has a slot open. Look at that. 22 stewardship before he even gets married. Or, well, he is married, but, you know, his, his, spouse, his spouse can't help for a good 10 years. Okay, once Hatia Suleiman passes on, we're, uh, then Atem will be old enough that he's getting help from his spouse, and he might be our best steward. He's definitely up there. Found a witch coven! We can do it! Yes! Let's go! 10% fertility, small health boost to resist diseases, and hostile scheme power and resistance is up. Found the Terraman coven for sure. That's eviction. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. That's pretty fire. Make it so. We are defending. If I did this, would that end the war? Let me... 250 garrison. Okay. Let me leave off this and bring everyone else and just mess them up. Go get a Mashkud. Who is still in fine health? Yes. Okay. So, are we still making the coven, or is it made? Huh, okay. Uh, Negus Adina of Oxum was taken prisoner by... Okay, got it. Oxum was taken prisoner. So she's going to lose to Burr. Oh, the chieftain of Burr is making a play. Interesting, that is part of their... No, that's part of a different duchy, never mind. Jet is more likely to get a good education. Good to know. Romance declaration of love. <clears throat> okay. Oh no, not this. Good for Burr. They went ahead and doubled their size there, I think. Oh no, never mind. Axum was attacking them. Just kidding. Why are the guards with some of the lords at the court when I notice my friend Yehidin approaching? I step aside to let her pass, but to my great surprise, she blocks my path and kneels before me. Before I have time to properly process this turn of events, Yehidin begins to sing. I quickly recognize the tune. It's a famous ancient Egyptian love ballad. I've heard it performed countless times, but never with such skill and passion. The intense emotions of the song are mirrored in Yehidit's gaze, which is set on me. She does not look away for a single heartbeat. Abandon this foolish endeavor and immediately, or you flatter me, my lady. Queen Om loses 60 opinion for being betrayed our promise. Oh, no. No shot. No, because she's our soulmate. She's trying to romance romance? I'm sorry, Yehidit. I did not want to hurt your feelings like that. She doesn't seem too upset about it. Um, I think she already knew that it wasn't going to work out. So it didn't really hurt her, but... Sorry, you hit it. Menkare can only be taken by four, and his heart can only be taken by one. Your forces captured Lashoni, the marshal. <sighs> what? Recruit this man! <laughs> Recruit! Oh, no, don't torture him. Recruit this man! Yes. Convert. Weak hook. Oh, God. We don't need the weak hook. Just, I don't want his opinion to drop too low. Convert and recruit. Bah! Lashoni! Welcome! To the kingdom of Aten! Oh, my God. What a unit! And genius, too? Put it in the... Yeah, absolutely. Get him ready to go. Bangatado is a good steward. What are these people? 
Chief Distobira had these great council members. Hello? Recruit that guy too. I could maybe give him some land. Oh, no we cook. That's fine. Convert to Ominism. I might be able to get you some land, sir. Wow. This war actually ended up being great for us because it got us such good, such good people. Farewell, Mangatado. Yes, welcome, my courtier. Plus 22 and... Plus 22. Plus 22 of both is a score right there. Give me 28 gold for my time. So be it. I'm so glad we went through with that war. I'll, I'm sure... I probably would have hit white peace if it wasn't for Minkare himself saying no. No. If someone declares war on me, they go down. And that's probably for the best. I'm glad Minkare is making me make the better decisions, to be honest. Alright. With that war done, we can do this war real quick. Oh, no. The, the truce is still on. For how long? I was about to say, that has to be just about over. 28 days. Okay. And then after we declare this war, I do want to see if we can make a grand tour of sorts happen. <clears throat> Sixteen ninety, really? An allied with Somalo of nineteen ninety five. These, this is two counties that really know what they're doing. Pretty good for two. Ca oh, let him die actually, and let it all fall apart. Never mind. Let's give that some time. Let's wait for him to pass away. I'm gonna pin that. Put a pin on that. Rip Tenna, and then it'll let me know when he passes on. I can't found a holy order yet, but we're working on it. Oh my god, the Abbasid Empire is so much. Their allies aren't too much, but they themselves are a ton. And this guy's going to be around for a while, so that's not changing anytime soon. That's a special... F that's a special unit right there. That's the strongest military in the land. Up there with Kazaria, who is still doing absolutely excellent, by the way. How, how far is that thing going to spread? They have the entire... Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. They might have enough for Volga Ural to make it two empires. And then we'd have two different empires here that belong to the Bulinid dynasty, which would make them very noteworthy. Not, no kidding. All right. Back down to this, I suppose. And boom. Alright, the truce is over. But since he's basically going to die extremely soon, I think I'll actually want to wait that out. We got a little over three years. Just over three years. Under three years, I mean, for the other one. Anybody else we can handle without too much problem. Huh. Set of TC more likely to get a good education. Good, good, good. Yeah, our youngest child is four. We haven't had a, we haven't had a kid in four years, and some of our wives are pretty young, to be honest. Yeah, huh? Wait, she's not our lover anymore. Neil, what? When did we lose you? Lose you as a lover? What? Seduce, 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 seduce. She's traveling now. Oh my god. It, where are you going? <laughs> Damn it. I was just... Okay. I was just about to try to seduce her. When I realized that we weren't lovers anymore. I don't know when that happened, to be honest. I guess we grew apart in the, to in the time being. Okay. She's traveling there. I don't know why she's traveling to the temple. Oh, is she doing a pilgrimage? She's not going to be done for a while. That's a shame. You know what shockingly hasn't been done for a while? This guy that's near death is still alive. What's going on with that? Foreign merchants. As I survey my court, I notice my steward, Hatia Suleiman, who is 30 stewards, so he knows what he's talking about, in lively conversation with my foreign guest, Jaudat. Curious, I approach the pair. Okay. Pharaoh Minkara, I represent the interests of a mercantile group of my Misri kinsmen. We see great potential in establishing a merchant community in Misri's here in Aten. Jodat states obsequiously, Vassal, we must not favor foreigners over our own people, protests Suleiman. Misri's will, shall not exploit our markets. You get 80 gold. Eject Jodat from our realm and rightfully seize the gold he has poached from our own merchants. Oh, wow. Damn. And there's no cultural acceptance to ruin there. 
And he, this is not what Mencaro would do, because he's arrogant. Yeah, shall not exploit our markets. Damn straight. Well said, Suleiman. Well said. What are you doing? Training a warhorse? As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a mare kept away from all others. She throws her head and stomps her hooves, displaying her powerful hindquarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best of confirmations and the worst of tempers. I've never seen such a warhorse before, but the stable master insists that she's impossible to train. Not one to back away from a challenge. Might get a martial lifestyle perk and might get a horse, and the horse might become your own steed. She's an expert. Master the horse will try to tame the animal. So to find stables fetch a hefty price. No, I'm going to try this. Not one to back away from a challenge. Every major cha- Oh, yes. Nice. Absolutely trained for tournament as well. We'll, uh... We'll wait for this horse thing to finish in case it interrupts it for now, but we are definitely doing that very soon. <clears throat> Alright, chivalric dominance. Get that 75% knight effectiveness. Next time's no never back down for that plus 5 advantage. Men at arms negotiation for 5 years. What?! Are you serious? Om just crushed that. For five years, all of our men at arms cost 25% less? That's awesome. Oh, it's it's prestige because we're tribal. It's less awesome, but whatever. Alright, the horse pins her ears back as I approach. Her disregard for me crystal clear. This first meeting is important to earn her trust and respect, and I need to decide how to go about it. <clears throat> okay. Likely to work well with high prowess skill or a bold personality. Yes to both counts for for Mencare for sure. If I'm gentle, move slowly, she'll trust me. Diplomacy or benevolent personality? No. Everyone has their fair price. Bring forth the apples. Intrigue or a generous personality? No. It's definitely this. We are be we are good at both of those. Steady hand is required to tame this beast. <gasps> There's a plague. Oh shit. Nizam's pox. Well we can't catch it. But that doesn't mean Shoot. But that doesn't mean my family can't. Caliph's Evil. Started a little over a year ago over here. Wow. The Consumption. Severe penalty. And if you're a child or elderly, it's an additional severe penalty. That's tough. It is a mighty feeling the powerful horse follows my every whim. Now that I've earned her trust, she seems almost fond of me. I'll keep her as my personal warhorse. You get a warhorse and one martial lifestyle perk unlock? God dang! The Mencare, you unit! Plus one prowess and point twenty-five prestige a month? Oh my god. For ten years? Yes, absolutely give us a warhorse. Keep this as my personal warhorse. That is so sick. Immediately another martial lifestyle perk. Never back down. Okay, I don't think I can actually switch. No, I can't. Um, not for another while. Let me see what it says. 18th of October, 9-11. Okay, so in just over a year, I can switch. So yeah, we are going to take... I was kind of iffy on whether we were actually going to take Household Guard. But if we have to do this tree for another year and a month anyway, then yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Control growth would be really nice. That would be really nice. But we have to get over to this learning tree eventually. As much as I like a lot of these things, obviously, I want to get through all three of these trees before we pass away. So we, we got to start getting working on that. Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call her. A name inspired by history. Mythology is full of awe-inspiring horse names. Yes. All right. The ancient Greek god of the North Wind wouldn't be bad, because the Greeks kind of built off of the ancient Egyptians. Xanthus, the name of Achilles. Baileus, one of Achilles' owns. Let's go with Boreas, the ancient Greek god of the North Wind. Or not. History? Bucephalus! <laughs> um... It's just a horse and it should be named as such. Yikes. Yeah, let's go with Boreas. That's the best one I saw. Let's go with it. 30 prowess before we've even trained for the tournament. We love that. 
And then you turn to the right, High Chieftain Mashkud yells, while dealing a powerful blow to my sword that makes me take a couple of steps back. They won't go gentle on you in the tourney, my lord, he says, drawing the sweat from his forehead. If you want to win, you can't afford to lose. Not even to me. Not even once. He has 18, we have 30. Okay. 24% that we get one prowess. 48% that we get one prowess. Alright. Uh, 23% we get well trained for 10 years, which is meh. Every champion prowess challenge. Wow, okay. Nice. So there's a 72% chance we get a prowess out of this. Go for it, Menkare. No! No! Alright, fine. Instead of getting one prowess, we got Glory Hound Vassal Opinion. It's whatever. Not what I wanted, but it's fine. This is seriously taking forever. My problem is that I can't do the Grand Tour because when you're on a Grand Tour, you can't declare war. So I'm trying to declare this war here. How are you not dead yet? <laughs> Just, he's not long for this world, but he's not dying. Come on now, move on. Whoa, what happened to our military strength? That kind of skyrocketed, didn't it? I don't mind. That's crazy. I don't mind one bit. 43. He's starting to get along a little bit. He's middle-aged for sure. He's definitely not old yet. But he is middle-aged. Without a doubt. Your champion, High Chief of Mashkut, entered Islan Samani's recital contest, and you gained 35 prestige for it. Okay. Go get it, Mashkud! This is crazy. He's just refusing to go down. Champion practice. The clanging of mail and the clashing of swords rings in my ears as my champions practice their arms. I study them intently, trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. There can be little rest for them, for as soon as the bell is rung to signal the end of the mock melee, the stable doors are opened. It's time to bring out the mounts. Today we're going field riding. Might get a mar martial lifestyle perk. Or mounted exercise for five years. Prowess plus two and a health boost. Oh, I might gain a martial lifestyle perk. Imagine we get another one. Imagine. Queen Om glances at the mud fields at the bottom of the hill. Those could serve as the outline of an enemy army, she says. I inform my champions as I inspect their battle line, preparing them for strategy at hand. I should cut off diagonally and lead the champions into the flanks. You gain a martial lifestyle perk unlock. Or charge. 100% chance to get an aggressive attacker trait. I just get a martial lifestyle perk. Are you serious? <clears throat> Yo, this is crazy how we're cruising through this. The storm of hooves around me, the shouts of mounted warriors, their unyielding momentum. Riding at their head, it feels as if I am the head of a force of nature. This, however, is a force I direct, that responds to my every little order, that I command as if it was an extension of myself. Charging into the flanks of an imaginary army, my champions never straying from their, my plan. I know that this is how I bring utter devastation to my enemy. This is how the rush of victory will feel. That's awesome. Court Grandeur 6 again, that is a bummer. But Household Guards, Knights plus 4. That's big. Okay. Serve the Crown would obviously be good. Bellum Justum's not good, but a lot of the things you can get afterwards are pretty nice. Mostly this movement speed right here. And travel speed never hurts. I might do Serve the Crown, though. The control growth would be so nice. I'm sorry, if I would have known it was going to take him this long to pass on, I would have just declared the war already. Nefetari? My daughter Nefetari has been gone birth to a daughter. She gives us our first grandchild, huh? Because she cheated. This is not a... This is a quarter... This is a quarter blood of Amun-Ra. Not half-blood like the, like the others. Wild Oat, born on a wedlock, hail... Sure, do Berenice. I don't care. I don't I'm really honestly not worried about this child. <sighs> Why would you do this, Nefetari? Let's go with Amos. No, it's a it's a Ahotep? Sure, Ahotep. <sighs> Why is she like that? Why is Nefetari like that? Why are you like that? 
60 and still going. This man near death, my... I don't believe it for a second. Mashriki pox is spread in the barony of Dungarab. Yeah, this is really spreading here. Oh my god, we have it. It's it's in our land. Well, that's a shame. No, it's nowhere near us yet. We don't have to worry about that quite yet. I can't believe... At, at this point, it feels like lost cause fallacy. Like... Surely this man will die soon. I'm not just waiting for no reason, right? Hi yi yi This is terrible. <laughs> How long this is taking. I did not expect this at all. 4.24. Um, 4.29 over there. 4.16. Yeah, let's do... Um, oh, these wetlands need to be absolutely brought up for sure. Let's start with one of them for sure. Let's get that going. Get it spreading over there. This is actually insane. This is actually insane. How? How is he not dead yet? What do we got going on? A little language. Greetings, my charming king, Nejin says, observing two courtiers chatting in hushed whispers. I'm very interested in the upbringing of your son, Narmer, as am I. He's pure-blooded. You see, I speak Tubu, a language that I believe would be most useful for him to learn, she explains with a genuine tone. I just need coin for quills, ink, parchment, and some personal compensation, of course. Uh, diligent, can't say who needs to speak anything but Egyptian. Greedy, 180 stress. <laughs> Greedy and arrogant. I'll pay anything to see it happen. No. Narmer, do your best. 85% chance he hits it, too, because Narmer's kind of a beast. Look at that 13-year-old genius absolutely cooking right now. I love it. I love it. A diligent content? Oh, man! Narmer! If I could pick a son to take over, this would probably be the one. I'm just saying. You know, I'm not... I'll just leave it there. Narmer, do your best. He learned Tubu. Very good. Very good. How? How are you alive? Do something? <clears throat> oh, the pox, yeah. More reports roll in from the chiefdom of Swakin as the Mashriki pox continues to rage. I'm trying to click on it. Oh my god, this game, I swear. It's so good, but it can be so clunky sometimes. Yeah, okay. That one. Amasus, having brought me the latest of the missives personally, slams a hand on my, onto my desk. The people expect us to be performing some acts to help them, he insists, gesturing at the message. Now, I've seen this type before. All we need to do is purge some of the filthy animals that have been bedeviling the area. The affliction surely won't last without them. Amasus leans back in satisfaction as I ponder. It is the will of Amun-Ra. It's the will of Amun-Ra! Then we must call the sheep. There's no. There's nothing to do about it. Lose for stress because we're diligent, so it's what we do anyway. 42% of the purging of the much of the local sheep population has slowed the spread of the plague, or the purging of much of the local sheep population damaged the local economy. Give it a shot. Ominous Exaltation. Many tales have been inspired by Hatia Irene's tireless work in the service of Amun Ra. Despite her prestigious rank, Irene is always ready to get her hands dirty to fulfill even the most tiring and laborious tasks. And a true example of ominous virtue, she's an example to us all. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Are you positive about that? Hey, we take the fervor where we can get it, I guess. I just don't know if that's so accurate. Jet comes of age. Okay, Jet. A true silver tongue, he can sway the opinion of counts and kings alike. When he speaks, the court listens in enraptured silence. They grow up fast. Atta boy, Jet! Well done. Well done. Control county task done. Nice. We need counties over here under control. 1.94 is not bad. 4.98? What? Yeah, knock that out real quick.
Wow, I really did make a mistake. This war could have been almost over by now. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe this man is not dead yet. What is causing him to hold in? To hold on? Why is he still alive? A lesson in lucre. Okay, Ka. My daughter Ka just finished a lesson held by Nyejin on the management of the treasury and the gold therein. Ka seems to have taken the lesson to heart with a reinforced sense of justice. She's constantly talking about how everyone from the highest king to the lowest launderer plays a part in the economy of the realm. We need to bleed them dry, greedy, and then callous. Yeah, justice is a good trait. Absolutely. Yeah, a strong sense of justice will endure you to the people. Her intrigue is terrible. But her other stats are looking pretty nice. For 11? Yeah, absolutely. I might just give up on this county for now and come back later. Let's let's plan a grand tour. To hell with it. I can't believe that guy's not dead yet, but whatever. Okay. Let's go. I especially want to visit, like, people that aren't in love in love with us yet, you know? They're on the way, so let's hit them. Go hit that. Go hit that. Suleiman, I should probably go visit. Mashkud, I should go visit, too. Let's visit Mashkud first. That makes more sense. High Chieftain Tamer. Yeah, sure. And then hit Shimiki on the way back, and then that's it. Okay. 14 high danger, 8 medium, 4 low. Whoa. Hold up now. Hold up now. We need a caravan master. Uh, he, she would be... He's a dishonorable villain. Never mind. Fatima, my daughter! Yes! A caravan master. Very cool. 5, 12, 4. That is so better. Let's customize the route. 2, 8, 5. Even better. Let's customize the route. Okay. So. Size a little dangerous. Um, the county control and popular opinion is pretty bad. But that's literally where we're visiting. So it's kind of unavoidable. After Psy, if we go through... No, not like that. If we go through here... Huh? What is this directional? We go through here. We go down here. Oh, this is after Jernetti. My bad. So after Meroway, if we go here... Okay. And then after that, we go here... Oh, we can't avoid this county, huh? Oh, it's only 1%, actually. That's not bad. This wasn't as dangerous as I thought it was. Okay, we go down here. Where there's 13, 8, 8, 37 in Gafat. Damn, really? The hills. We don't have something for the hills? 1, 10, 4. Even better. Okay, 25% in Gafat. If we took that risk... In Gafat, customize the route. And we add here. And then we just go bang bang like that. Then we avoid all this garbage. Go through here. 37% chance of danger. Oh man. Yeah, that area is exceptionally dangerous. We might have to skip this one. Amhara, Amarta. That's that might not be vis visitable to be honest. Neither would this one, huh? 200 learning lifestyle experience will be visit there, which is cool, I guess. 629.47. The holder's opinion is plus 50 is the main problem. Yeah, we can't go through there. Okay, so if we risk this for some reason... After Amaro, we could go through here. That's still 22%. Don't do that. Go back to here. <clears throat> no, Amara's there. What? Danakil is there? Okay, my bad. We go back here, this way. And then back through there is pretty safe. Yeah. Throughout the rest of the journey back. So, our dangers would be... 20% in Singa. And then it would be... 25% there. 37 here. 
and 11 there. Okay. So, no high danger, but 7 medium danger and 3 low danger. And it would take us a year to travel the whole route. Okay. Alright. I want to try this. I know it's not perfect, but it's by far the best chance we've had of actually pulling this off so far. Recreation reduces stress. <laughs> Lechery. The... <laughs> You intend to embrace your carnal desires and seek sexual encounters with a plethora of partners. This often results in stress reduction for lustful characters. Okay. Altruism. You seek to improve the lives of others by looking for opportunities to take altruistic actions. This often leads to an increase in popular opinion and piety. Zealous, generous, and improvident characters may lose stress. No. Justice. Control and just characters may lose stress. And increase in control. You seek to distribute justice to even the pettiest of criminals within your realm. Yeah! That's exactly what we want. Every available courtier will join you on your tour, presti tour, prestige gang, 10 close courtiers, okay. That doesn't make it any safer. And then essential luxuries is as much as we can do for tribal. I think this is it! And in our entourage, we got a, a lot of family. Ahotep be joining us is a little sketchy, but okay. Don't do those right now. It's really far away from us. We're okay. This is actually, yeah. <clears throat> Let's give this a go. I do want to go to Alablab. Hold up. After Gurnetti. Which is in... Where? <laughs> which one is Gurnetti? Sai? No, here it is. Meroway. Okay. Go here. There we go. A little extra distance, but to hit this is, sounds really nice, actually. Get that greatly improved aptitude for an antiquarian. Is there any other extra piece I need to pick up on the way? Yeah, right here. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Amarta. Yeah, after Dan after that, you guys need to go here. And then you guys can hit that. And then don't go that way, obviously. That's stupid. There we go. <clears throat> and we're not going there. There's a plague going on there, and it's not worth diplomacy lifestyle experience. Okay. Alright, nice. I really like this. This is cool you get to plan your route like that. All right, here we go. It's going to take us a year. <clears throat> Let's start the Grand Tour for 322. I can't wait to see what we get to do with this. I'm pumped. Let's start the Grand Tour. Desert Warrior hired. Okay, he's okay. He'll convert for me. Appreciate that. All right, we're doing a round trip of a lot of our areas. Here's the Mountaineer we hired. He'll also convert for us. Appreciate it. 95. Not a guarantee, but basically. Alright, not not bad characters there. I got tired of waiting for this man to die. Grand Tour of Majestic Start. The time has come to depart from my Grand Tour of Aten. My court is packed, ready, and raring to go. Our first stop will be my vassal Hatia Yustafanu's castle over in Sai. I look forward to visiting her and seeing my realm one holding at a time. I'm certain that the Kingdom of Aten's subjects will speak of my benevolence for a long time to come. I can't wait. Yes! Oh, this is, sounds so sick. I can't... This is going to be so good. We're not going to be able to finish this in this episode, but this is so cool. This is so cool. They both converted. Good. Now they both love us, even. Of travels to come. Journeying through Chemna, I pass by a peculiar-looking tent, splayed open with its yet more peculiar-looking occupant inside. Come in, O oh mighty king. I can tell you have many miles to go, and I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. The strange man has piqued the interest of my entourage, but am I willing to pay for a reading? No. Come experience the future with me. He's a witch. Yeah, uh, no. I'm not interested. Bye. Toll of Conquest? What is happening? Uh, so many events! A Hypatia, okay. A dwarf. My brother, my father, my husband all died in war. A peasant is screaming at me across the village square. When you defeated Gul'dun at the Battle of Dara, it was a victory for you, but for me it was the day three generations of my family died. Her anger had turned to tears, and the words she spoke next barely reached my ears. You're no king of mine. I can't bring them back. Perhaps some gold will help. Cared for War Widow. Or that was a sacrifice I was willing to make. You lose 11 stress because we're greedy. Yeah, I mean... The war widow was in this county was disrespected and ignored. Cheap them about 10, losing development is kind of bad. For 25 years! What? Development growth of popular opinion in the capital for 80 gold. 
And Menkare must think this is somewhat justified because... He wouldn't take any stress. And we have no stress. This might be the better play. I know this won't be our capital forever, but that's such a huge penalty. And this is also a pretty good buff. <clears throat> hmm. I am trying to spread my majesty, aren't I? We can't do it. It's just not Menkare's way. This is what his personality would do. That was a sacrifice I was willing to make. Your family died for my wishes. Travel Wayside Shrine. Sai is home to a famous wayside shrine that I happen to be passing by today. Locals tell us that it isn't uncommon for tra travelers to spend even a few days praying there, for it is said that doing so will ensure safe passage for one's journey. I'm unsure how helpful praying at the site would be, but I should at least pay my respects to Amun-Ra while here. True! Pay respects to your father. 32% chance of danger. Say a quick prayer, then move on. Spend several days in prayer. Leave a small offering at the Way Shrine. <clears throat> Delayed by five days. Let's not delay too long in a dangerous place like this. Let's say a quick prayer to Amun-Ra, then move on. Touring the grounds of Sai, look at this! My arrival at Hatia Yustafanu's castle in Sai is marked with fanfare befitting the king of the realm. I didn't even think about that! Yeah, literally the king is visiting. Of course people get amped. Let's go! And the locals are clearly awed by the grandeur and pomp of my escort. My vassal dutifully receives me with all requisite differ deference. Yustafanu outlines the planned tour and assures me Sai is so fair and fine a land that merely gazing on her towns and fields will be entertainment enough. Only time will tell. They had to come up with entertainment? Oh, man. Okay, let's get to it. Begin the tour of the grounds activity. You gain 75 prestige, lose 34 stress because you're arrogant, and every county within her realm gets plus 10 control level. Hell yeah! Let's get that control up. Tour of the grounds. Two days until next... Really? What? Wait a minute. This is crazy. Okay. I want... Okay, 200 prestige, 600 prestige and 50 renown. 800 prestige and 75 renown, and every vassal gains 20 opinion that we visited. Or 1,000 prestige, 150 renown, and you gain itinerant leads for 20 years, getting 15% more vassal taxes, and development growth in realm capital goes up. Wow. Yeah, let's make this as good as we can, really. Benevolent Presence. Your Grand Tour becomes more majestic. Kenbit of Psy gained popular leaves for 10 years. Okay. I at last managed to find myself alone in the wilds of Barony of Psy, and my mind wanders to thoughts of my wife, Queen Am. I cannot deny that Barony of Psy is a place of true beauty, almost beautiful enough to match my beloved Queen Am of a 10. I feel compelled to leave a mark here so all who pass through Barony of Psy will know my love for her, perhaps carving her name into a... <gasps> Dude, he is so smitten with Am, it's insane. Shall be done. Queen Am gains 50 opinion, your grand tour becomes more majestic, and Kemet Asai gets a noble carving for control growth of 1.0 a month. Whoa. And we gain 46... No, what? Yeah, it shall be done. Look at that majesty, is already going up. We love it. <clears throat> Man, this is crazy. It was just a year of travel, not counting all these different stops. These grand tours are going to take a long time. I can already tell. This is going to be a whole thing for sure. Narmer learns Sudonic. Dude, he's just out here. Cause more likely to go to get education. True. Narmer has... No, Narmer does not have his third personality trait yet. Nefetari learns Sudonic. That's fine. Hatia Yustafanu has been quite the gracious host so far, showing me her lands and possessions with pride. So I'm immediately taken aback when she starts stammering, clearly trying to draw my attention away from an apparently unremarkable door we are passing by. Are you hiding something from me, Yustafanu? Yeah, you're terrible at intrigue, for sure. I take advantage of her moment of stum shameful, guilty, silence, push the door open, and I'm surprised by what I find. The door leads to a courtyard filled with the healthiest, strongest-looking hounds I've seen in a while. It's only fair to share this with your king. Oh. Oh, she's annoyed, but we get increased taxes and 50 gold? That's crazy. Guards come near anything. You gain hunting companions for 15 years. Your leech takes away the best of your stash. 
Oh no, that's a terrible, that's a dick move. A fellow connoisseur, the hunter trait. You gain sharing tips with friends. Come on, let me look at this please. He wouldn't do it anyway because he's greedy, I can't read it. Pretend I didn't see this. Well, we're doing one of these. Wow, that's crazy. We either, yeah. <laughs> we either get hunting companions for 15 years and 75 gold. Or we get 50 gold. She gets more feudal taxes and loses 20 pennies because she's annoyed. Let's do this one. It's 25 less gold up front. But we don't need hunting companions. It's only fair to share this with your king. Oh, man. Busted. Now we're getting paid. Maybe we can make our money back on these grand tours. Kind of crazy, actually. I've arrived in Pharaoh's land to pay homage to you. Glorious king is a show of my loyalty. I'm not there, but okay. Show her in. Okay. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Nomark Sisse, who is soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference, offering nothing but her oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the kingdom. Though the Nomarch has clearly practiced the Egyptian vow, she mispronounces several sections, humorously changing their meaning and leaving my courtier stifling titters. Good efforts to say it's not an easy language. Or do you have any idea what you just said? Oh no, what a dick move. She came all this way to try to offer deference. And she just loses everything anyway. This is what Minkari would do. Do you have any idea what you just said? <clears throat> This evil man that we get to play as. I love it. Mashku can no longer control... I mean, I'm assuming because the control is already good. Yeah, good. <clears throat> um, maybe we can get the... The control underway in these areas. Walega was one of the main places we were worried about, right? No? Um, Senar, was it? No. What were the areas that we were struggling with, safety-wise? Can I check this? View the travel? Yeah. What did we need help with? Singa was 19. Okay. And Singa is a part of... Senar. Yeah, okay. So let me... Increase control in Senar. And maybe that'll help. By the, I mean, it's not going to be done by that time, but maybe it'll help. Is that man still alive? <laughs> what the heck? How is he still alive? That's crazy. If this is how long we're staying everywhere, then this grand tour is never going to finish. The Baroness size seems like a op truly opulent and excessive place with a bloated Hatia as its ruler. Everywhere I look, I see signs which all point to one thing. Undeclared taxable amenities. The livestock count seems much higher than reported. The Hatia's abode seems almost luxurious enough to be for a king. Theoph Theophilia suggests that I should tax this excess, since Tatia used to of Sai has clearly not been paying her dues, my seneschal. Yes. Tax the Hatia, obviously. 32% nothing happens, 67% that she loses 10 opinion, pays us 50, and control level goes up. She paid the tax. Wow, we're going to make money back on this trip. I've concluded my royal visitation of Sai, and now my procession prepares to depart. Hatia Yustafanu of Sai no longer likes us very much. Uh, and her court have all lined up neatly to see me par see me part. And with everyone present, it's time to collect tribute for bestowing her with my presence. <laughs> time to collect tribute for bestowing her with my presence. What a crazy thing to say. That's incredible. I make no demands. It's time for tribute. If your vassal accepts, she spends prestige to give us renown and our grand tour becomes more majestic. If she rejects, it's a crime and she could lose opinion. It's time for tribute. She gave in. Good. Good. We get prestige and renown for that? Damn! That's crazy! And that was just one trip? Wow. 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 These grand tours are going to be... <clears throat> Massive. So you can expose. Odin has accused my daughter Nefertari of having an affair with my food taster Khalil. That did happen. Yeah, that's correct, actually. Can't argue that. Can't argue that. I think Narma and Ka might be the first to actually be ready to go for kids. Yeah, because they're 13 and 12. 
Content, diligent, and zealous. Oh, Narmer, my man. You are looking so good. I love it. Maybe you'll be my holy order guy. With your pure blood and everything? Hey, Loremaster. Just saying, very promising here. Let me know. How do I do it? I want to know. That's crazy. Settling in for dinner. I receive a welcome worthy of a king at the gates of Hatia Irene's castle in Meroe, and there's little doubt the splendor of my train has made a great impression. Alright, Irene explains the planning, planned event evening banquet, promising the entertainments and victual, victuals on offer will near the standards of my own court's dinners. Hatia Irene of Meroe assures me this is, the only fine, this is only the finest food she has to offer. I can't read. I gotta go to sleep. I can't, I can't read. Why am I so bad at this? Let's begin. <clears throat> and that's where we'll start next time. Dude, this grand... We, we might spend the whole next episode on this grand tour. I'm sorry, I'm standing up again because I'm excited. This grand tour, grand tournament, grand wedding, these events make Crusader Kings 3 so much better. I can't believe it took me like 10 months after it came out for me to play it because of its release time. This has been so good. I'm so glad we're playing it. Thank you so much for watching me and for enjoying the journey alongside me. For real. Your guys' comments on this series have also been spectacular. They really raise my mood. I don't, I don't know what it is about hearing from people about how much they're enjoying something that you're enjoying. But there's just that, I don't want to say bond, but just that like, that thing that we have together that I really really am vibing with right now but so i just wanted to say that thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video consider giving it a like if you really enjoyed it consider subscribing but either way thank you so much for joining me on this journey as i've said and i'll see all of you for the rest of this grand tour maybe this this it might be so long that we might not even be able to do it in a whole episode we'll see i'll see all of you next time